Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Ross Joss. Sorry we missed you guys so much. I recently returned from a trip to Japan. It was absolutely amazing. And I asked on my Patreon, what video would you like me to film in Japan? Should I paint my original character, Nima, with deers, with spirits, or with owls? And the winner is... Yeah, so we're gonna paint Nima with deer, maybe like Miyazaki style, super vibrant. Deer were super cute. At times a little too aggressive, but this is what happened. Hey guys, we're in Nara today with all these deer. And uh, we got Chris behind the camera. And we're going to try to get a reference photo for our painting. And I bought these crackers for us to do it. And look at this deer. This deer is trying to get some crackers. You ready? You ready to bow? One, two, three. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna try to get three. All right, three deer. Ooh. One more. One more. Oh, are you the lucky deer? Okay, we're gonna squad, we're gonna squad and we're gonna take a reference photo. You ready? One more deer. Uh, deer, I have food! <laughs> Why are you supporting my butt? Okay, we got two deers. Alright, about one, two, three. You guys have to go with them. Oh, there you go, okay. <laughs> What if we still heard here? We have so many deer, but you guys sit? You guys sit? Sit. <laughs> sit. <laughs> you guys didn't do anything. Well, I'll try to make a painting from what we have to work with, which is not a lot, but <laughs> I will see you guys soon. Cute, but they're a little feisty. Also, I learned how to say crackers, please, in Japanese, which is a uh, senbei kudasai. We snapped some ref photos, and here they are. I really know what to do, so I was just like posing with the deer. This deer is like, what the heck? Here's me giving out some crackers. <laughs> Ooh, cracker throwing stars. Oh, this one's trying to grab it out of my hand, and I'm like, no, no, these are my crackers. I really like this one. I think this has a lot of potential, and we're going to use this as our reference image. Yeah, let's just paint the background a little bit. Yeah, Nima. Let's maybe draw like a kimono on me. I think my pants are white too. And let's change my uh, skin tone real quick. And Nima's hair is white, so we're going to change this to white hair. Oh my god. This is before, a simple, nice image of me feeding the deer, and then after. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep work on it and check my soon. This is what we had, you know? Very chill image, and then this is where we're going. <laughs> so someone told me that deers is not a word. like. Nemo with the deers. It's just deer without the S. I want to get to the bottom of this. Is deers a word? <laughs> deer is the preferred plural form of deer. So, it's, oh, 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 ladies. Okay, sorry, I'm um, EG13. Oh my gosh, she's everywhere. Okay, just try not to look at her. You know what, I'm gonna zoom in. No, not that. <laughs> zoom in here. <laughs> Cancel that, sorry kids. Deers is an accepted word and we can use it, but it's rarely used and people prefer deer. Sometimes we break the rules and we're gonna call these deers. <laughs> we learned something about grammar today, so I'm just gonna keep working on this and I'll check back soon. Yeah, looking pretty good, you know, vibrant, very uh, different from where we started. <laughs> I want to teach you guys something about painting, but before we do, I think this piece calls for a bunny. Yay, our bunny! 
Awesome. Yeah, so when you're painting, everything matters. From the color, to the composition, to even the brush strokes. Think of your brush strokes as a character. Come on! What does this character embody? So the character of this grass right here has a motion, you know, it has a direction. So all your brush strokes are on a slope. Contrasted this field with a really strong straight tree, cutting it at an angle. So we have the character of our field, Come on. and we have the character of our tree. The next time you're painting, think about how your brush strokes embody a character and play against one another. Yeah, so it's almost done, so I'm gonna wrap it up and I'll check back soon. making videos with you guys. Milo sure misses you. I'm sure you guys know that I've been working on my book Nima, which comes out next year. That's the main reason why I was in Japan, you know? I'm trying to grab inspiration from the aesthetic and the culture. Also, big shout out to Lazelska, who gave me this in Japan. Ooh, and that's so pretty. One, two, oh, wow. Thank you so much everybody who tried to meet up. I tried to do a Japan meetup, but it's kind of hard because I don't know where anything is. So I was like, uh, where do I go? Oh, if you're interested in learning more with bonus content and video demos, this month I'm gonna have Japanese inspired pieces. So if you're interested, check out my Patreon. And the print winner is Don Suarez. Yes, congratulations. And if you want a chance to win a print, this video's question is, where in this world do you want to visit? It can be anywhere. Maybe it's the deep volcanic craters of hell. Oh, where do you want to visit? The toilet. But let me know where you guys want to visit and I'll choose a lucky subscriber. Also, I'm about to do a giveaway on my Instagram. Make sure you're following and stay tuned. It's so nice to be back. I seriously miss you all. I miss making art. I miss making videos. And I'm so happy that you guys are here with me. Let's do it. 2018, go Milo. Don't forget to subscribe and remember, every day is a color dodge day. Arigato gozaimasu.